like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's a review of WWE Raw, the week commencing the 8th of April, the night after WrestleMania. So Triple H comes out. He wants to thank everybody in attendance, thank the fans for making this the biggest WrestleMania of all time, apparently by all the metrics. And he also brings out Cody Rhodes. So Cody Rhodes congratulates, um, well, Triple H congratulates Cody Rhodes um, for breaking all the records. Cody says his dream is now reality and he shows his daughter because that's what he that's what he that's what he fights for and he says he's now the champion now as he said that the final boss comes out do you like what does everyone like a the final boss entrance i think it's pretty cool the final boss comes out crowd boos the crowd boos him uh, viciously basically uh, the rock basically says um Congratulations to Cody, he did it, he's completed his story and he wanted to hold the title so Cody let him hold the title and The Rock basically um, says to Cody he's going to be coming back for Cody at some point um, and The Rock also says to Cody don't break his heart again I've no idea what that's about. Then we go into our first match. So it's Shinsuke Nakamura versus Dragunov. He's the NXT champion. I've never heard of him before. But yeah, really good match. But in the end, Dragunov wins. So congratulations to Dragunov. Then we see quite a few highlights from WrestleMania, um, which was a great event. Go and watch it. I haven't seen it already. Then we have the Judgment Day come out, gloating over the success of Rhea Ripley and Damien Priest. Rhea Ripley comes out, basically says... She runs things, she always runs things, and no one's taking a title when she's on top. And then Damien Priest basically comes out, celebrates his win. As he was celebrating it, R Truth turns up because he's now the tag team champion uh, with Miz. And they say, Well, let's have a match then. It gets into a back and forth, then they say, Let's have a match. R Truth was like, Okay, let's have a six man tag match. But R Truth only is there as him and the Miz because he has a tag team partner who you can't see, but there was no one there. So. Put two and two together. So then we go into the match. It's R Truth versus the Judgment Day. Really good match. But in the middle of the match, who turns up? John Zena turns up. And they basically squash the Judgment Day and get the victory. Then we have Bronson Reed basically said he's getting ready for everybody. He's going to beat everyone down because he's coming for everyone. Then we have Liv Morgan in the back attacks Rhea Ripley. So it looks like that's going to be our next title defence. Then we have Indy versus Roxana. I believe Roxana is the NXT Women's Champion. Really good match, but in the end, Roxana got the victory. Then we have Jay Uso congratulating Sami Zayn on his victory and said, "Let's go, yeet!" And then he did the the hand thing. The yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Then we have Sami Zayn come out. He so he gives his props to the he gives his props to Gunther for being a long reigning champion. He also thanks the fans for being with him. As he said that Imperium come out, Imperium basically go to attack Sami Zayn. But who comes to help? Chad Gable. So that goes straight into a tag team match. The Imperium versus Sami and Chad Gable. Great match, but in the end, Sami Zayn got the victory. Then we have Jay Uso in the back, ready, fired up for his four-way match for the number contender for the champion, Damian Priest. Then we have Chelsea Green in the back, telling Adam Pearce she wasn't happy she wasn't at WrestleMania and she wants her moment. So Adam Pearce goes, I'll give you a moment, don't worry. That then goes into Chelsea Green versus Jade Cargill. <laughs> Jade Cargill comes out, squash match. And Jay Cargill gets the victory. Then we have Sami Zayn and Chad Gable basically going back and forth having a chat. Chad Gable said he wants to cash in on his favour. Sami goes, yeah, do you want a drink after the after work? No, but Sami goes, no. Obviously, he won an IC Championship shot, so he's going to give him a shot next week on Raw. Then we have Drew McIntyre come out, said he's not happy about his loss. He calls out Damon Priest for cheapening his match with um, um, Seth Rollins that they had a classic. And also calls out CM Punk for interfering too. That goes straight into the main event, which is a four-way for the normal contender, which is Drew versus Jay Uso versus Ricochet versus Brompton Reed in a four-way. The winner gets... Um, Damien Priest, and in the end, Jey Uso gets the victory, yeet, as he pins Drew McIntyre because CM Punk <laughs> distracted him. That's your review of Raw.